You're listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional. Today's topic, Albert Schweitzer, Reverence for Life, Part 2. Albert Schweitzer shocked his friends and family when, in 1905, he announced his decision to study medicine and then become a missionary doctor in equatorial Africa. A few years earlier, he wrote that after awakening one morning, there came to me the thought that I must not accept this happiness as a matter of course, but must give something in return for it. He had tried to settle the matter of Jesus saying, For whosoever desires to save his life will lose it, but whosoever loses his life for my sake will find it. Matthew 16.25 So, with calm deliberation, he thought through the issue before getting out of bed. He concluded, I would consider myself justified in living till I was thirty for science and art in order to devote myself from that time forward to the direct service of humanity. His first thought was to work in Europe, perhaps in orphanages helping unfortunate children. But those doors never opened up. That's when he stumbled upon an article from the Paris Missionary Society that outlined the need for medical work in the Congo. After setting down the magazine, I quietly began my work. My search was over. Schweitzer's friends and relatives thought he was making a foolish decision. They told him he was burying his talents. They pointed out that the best gifts were in the fields of science and art. One friend said he was like a general who wanted to stand at the front of the firing line. Another said he could do more good lecturing about the needs of medical work for the people in Africa than by actually serving the people on this large continent. It was a far greater battle to follow his convictions than he realized, especially with so many well-meaning people who urged him not to go forward. But even though many regarded me as a precocious young man, not quite right in the head, Albert stepped forward into the unknown, taking the words of Christ seriously. For years he had talked about the love of Christ, but now he would put it into practice. What one thing could you do this week to move beyond merely talking about the love of Christ to doing the love of Christ? The Lord once told Moses at the Red Sea, Tell the children of Israel to go forward. Exodus 14, 15 Our key Bible text today comes from Matthew chapter 25, verses 35 and 36. For I was in hungered, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Thank you for listening to the Amazing Facts Daily Devotional.